Error code P0 controller repair video. First, remove the circuit board from the controller. Tools a screwdriver a pair of tweezers. Unplug the connection sockets of the display board and the backplane. Remove all connections from the terminal block. Remove the four fixed angle screws from the circuit board. After removing the four fixing angle screws, remove the seven fixing screws of the MOS tube. Take the circuit board out of the controller box. Remove the insulating spacer from the MOS tube. After the circuit board is removed, the damage the MOS tube needs to be replaced. Tools a new MOS tube needle nose pliers tweezers. Tin remover soldering wire. Soldering iron. Find the fought Y MOS tube. Use needle nose pliers to cut off the three corners of the MOS tube. After trimming the three corners, use a soldering iron and wire to remove the remaining needle corners. Use a tin remover to remove the residual tin. Make sure all the tin in the three holes is removed. Take a new MOS tube and put the MOS tube in the corner. Make sure that the new MOS tube model is the same as the one that needs to be replaced. Use a soldering iron and wire to secure the MOS tube. After the MOS tube is replaced, use a multimeter to check the MOS tube again. The method of checking MOS tube is the same as that of troubleshooting P0 error code problems. After the MOS tube confirms that there is no problem, Reinstall the circuit board into the controller box. Tools multimeter. Screwdriver tweezers. Thermal paste. Insulating gasket. First, apply thermal paste on the MOS tube. Thermal glue must be applied evenly. The bottom of the control box is also coated with thermally conductive glue. After the thermal paste is applied, install insulating spacers behind the MOS tube. When installing, Make sure that the insulating gasket is installed in place. Assemble the circuit board into the controller box. Align the four corner mounting screw holes. First screw on the two diagonal screws out of the four screws on the outside. After fixing of the circuit board, install the fixing screws of the MOS tube. There will be insulating particles on the seven fixing screws of the MOS tube. To ensure the integrity of the insulating particles above. After installing the MOS tube fixing screws, fasten the remaining two screws on the outside. Do not power on immediately circuit board is installed. Use a multimeter to check whether there is a short circuit on the circuit board. Set the multimeter to beep. If there is a short circuit the multimeter will be beeping. First put the red test pen the fixing screw in the lower left corner of the circuit board. The black test pen measure P positive, P negative, WVU, TL, DH, well, COM, and the lower right corner fixing screw respectively. Make sure there is no short circuit on the circuit board. If there is a short circuit, the installation needs to be rechecked. After checking reconnect the corresponding terminals. If the P0 error code is cleared after the controller is reconnected to work, the controller is successfully repaired.